So in this video today, uh, what I'm mainly going to do first of all is answer the question, which is in the video title. Is Loco 88 back? And straight and simple, yes he is. However, it's not going to be the way it used to be back in the day. Uh, there is going to be some implications to that and some things are going to be a little bit different. But what I'm going to do in this video today is basically explain to you how things are going to be different. I'm going to go over what's been going off over the last 12 months and since I've pretty much stopped doing any videos on this channel. Uh, explain to you what, what I've been basically doing my end and uh, also what's going to be happening moving forward uh, in terms of an upload kind of schedule and what kind of games we're going to be looking at. Things like basically. So I decided, some people may be wondering as well why I've actually just started coming back right now. It's mainly firstly because it ties in with the fact that it has been 12 months today since I last did an upload onto this channel. And it's basically, it's been just over five years since uh, the DayZ mod was released, which was the main reason I started doing YouTube and the game, which was my favourite of all time game ever. Now it's not quite five years, I think it's just over, I think it was like April, mid-April 2000. And 12 when that was released, uh, I started playing it in the round about August, back in the August that year, so I was a little bit late to the party, but not too far behind, but this, the initial feelings of that game was just fantastic, well the mod, uh, absolutely loved it, and that's why I did YouTube, so I think with that being the case with that, and the fact it's been so long since the video, there's also some other factors, but I thought I'd do these videos, show you the one I put up yesterday, which was recorded a long time ago, and also do a quick update to let you guys obviously answer some of the questions which some of you are probably wondering and some of you have asked me previously uh, before we get into what's going to be happening on the channel. So firstly, I'm going to cover what I've basically been doing, the reason why I actually stopped doing videos, etc. Now, the, it was about uh, just over two years ago um, when I first started doing YouTube, playing Daisy and that, um, when I was working, I kind of didn't, I, I kind of worked what I wanted, my hours were a lot less, um, and a lot of free time to do gaming. However, uh, the new job which I got two years ago kind of killed that straight off. Uh, I tried to maintain it, which made it extremely difficult. Uh, I, I, I really enjoyed doing YouTube though, so what I decided to do was start the new channel, which was Strategy Central, the other channel I've got. Because with that, we're not being multiplayer, it was easy for me to record and upload videos, which it was a hell of a lot easier, believe me. It was a hell of a lot easier for me to make content for that channel. However, uh, when I kind of got a new role within the company, it kind of killed that as well. Um, just so much work which I've had on, and it's been really difficult to do any kind of gaming. I've not really been playing with any of the guys from OC, or any lads I used to play with. Now and again we have, uh, but it's been... I haven't done for... Six months at least, seven months. It's been well, no, not that long. But yeah, yeah, it's it's just been difficult, and it's only been like strategy games or this or World Tanks things like that. So it kind of really put a down on it. Uh, during the last, I have um, apart from work, I haven't really done a lot. Uh, watched a few videos. I'm not really in tune though with what's been going off in terms of the gaming world and the gaming communities. What new games are coming out? What new mods are coming out? What's bad? What's good? any new differences, I've not really been in tune with that kind of thing. So that's something I really need to look into and get back on board with. There's been a couple of changes with my actual setup. Um, a lot of things I'm going to have to get used to again in terms of doing my thumbnails and stuff because I've just completely forgot. Um, I have got a new graphics card. Um, I've got a MSI GTX 970. Some of you may be wondering why I didn't get a 10 series or 980. To be fair, the 970 is a really, really good card. Um, a lot of you will probably know a hell of a lot more about computers than me, so you know it's a decent card. Some of you may think it's crap, but hell, I got it for a good price. Um, it does the job I need to do. It was quite a squeeze getting the computer, because I'm not a master... You know what I mean? I don't know everything about computers. I'm mostly with cars and engines and things, not computers. So, fitting it in was a struggle. And I, I didn't believe it would fit, and I didn't believe it would work. So I kind of panicked when I ordered it. Because it still a lot of money, even though I got it cheap, but I panicked. It came, I might squeeze it in, fired it up, but it's like a treat, so problem solved. So that should save a lot of issues as well, because the, the reason why I got down that car is when I used to play some games, the, the computer was overheating all the time, the graphics card was, you got to think all the components of this computer, apart from the RAM which upgraded about 18 months ago, from 6 gig to 16 gig, um, we should go over in a second, it it was really, every every component really had on this computer, I bought it in, were it November? October, November 2012, 
So as you can imagine, it's getting pretty old. Um, with the RAM side of it, I only got the computer with 6 gig RAM. I didn't think anything of it at the time. It was fine. But then we're doing YouTube. Uh, when I was trying to process, edit videos and do multiple things at once, it was kind of getting bogged down. So 16 gig upgrade was um, important to me. A Fury, Hyper Fury X or something I've got. I can't really remember. It's in the child description. Which I might need to change my graphics card in there now. So yeah, but as well as that, when I was playing certain games like Rust, I know specifically with Rust because that was one of the last games I was playing when I was doing the channel. Um, it was bogging down. It could jump and free did it as well. It just didn't look as good. So it was causing problems because of the overheating. So I'm hoping that's going to solve those kind of problems in the future. So new bits. I've got a new gaming mouse as well. Uh, I don't know what it is. It wasn't too expensive. To be fair, it was £13, but it was really, really cool. It's got loads of buttons on the side and the top. So I can do numerous things with just the mouse now. So that should make things a little bit quicker and easier with certain aspects of gaming. So that should be better. I think the next step for me is a new keyboard. Because I've had this like say, five years and it's, it doesn't look pretty anymore. So changing that is going to be priority. And I think that's it. Um, probably another 18 month. I might look at a new motherboard and a new CPU. But I am running i7-3770 so it's good enough for now. But I think computer needs a good clean and dust. It's, it's, pretty, it's pretty like packed in there. And yeah, it, it, it just needs some organising. So, that's only the new things really in terms of my computer the setup. Um, game wise, what I've been playing, I. Probably the strategy games I'll play. The lot will attack, that will attack in December for about four months. And put a lot into it, a lot of time. Uh, and a lot. There's been some good updates to that. I've really been enjoying World of Tanks. But the problem with me when I play games like that, I just hammer it so much, it's like getting a bit bored. Um, so. So I get back into Total War Warhammer, playing a bit of that. And then I've seen Imperium Galactic Survival, and I really, really enjoy playing that. I've only been playing it on single player, though. Uh, I would like to get into multiplayer, but I don't really know anyone who's got it. So, something maybe to look into some multiplayer on that, but that's been a lot of fun. It's like Rust in Space, easiest way to explain it. Um, so that's been good. But that's about it, really. Nothing really too much different. Um... So basically moving forward, what's going to be happening now that I'm actually back? Well, first of all, I need to get in tune with what games are good at the minute, what's coming out, uh, what is currently out, what is the new thing to play, any new mods for any games, uh, anything of anything. I need to get back in touch with some of the guys I used to play with, and uh, some of the guys from OSC, which to be fair, I don't even know what to call OSC anymore. I'll always be OSC, that's the clan set up, but it's not really a clan anymore because obviously the fact that We've been separated, yeah, so but my eyes there are always always see the guys who were yeah. in the group, obviously, right. when we used to do all this amateur daisy stuff. So that'll never change, but I don't know if I'd operate it as such as that anymore. I, I don't know what's going to happen with that. That's something to think about and discuss down the line. But we need to speak to some of those guys again, uh, speak to some other guys as well, see about... Do some multiplayer stuff. I know a lot of you guys came to this channel specifically because you like the daisy multiplayer, the clan. Uh, fights and stuff like that, and I like that too. So I'm gonna try and get some of that sorted out as soon as I can. Um, in terms of getting the guys together and getting some multiplayer gameplay. Um, in terms of the games itself, there's a new one out at the moment which I'm really looking forward to, which is Survive the Nights. Now I pre-ordered that thing two years ago. I know it's been supposed to be coming out for even longer than that. Things happen, I believe, change the engine, etc. But recently I've heard news that it is due to be coming out very, very soon. I'm assuming within the next month. I'm hoping, anyway. Now, on Steam, it currently is on there as being um, released summer 2017. So, technically, that's like, what, two and a half months after summer? So, hopefully, it's imminent. Um, I'm really, really, really hoping, praying, that it is good. Uh, I've got a lot of high expectations about it. If it's really good, it's going to be brilliant, and I'll be playing a hell of a lot on the channel. Probably playing, probably completely scrapping my low-key schedule and playing a lot more than I should be. Um, which I will talk about this low, low schedule soon. Uh, but yeah, I'm really looking forward to that. Um, if any of you guys have seen that or pre-ordered it already, I've got some more. So let me know what you think about that game. Let me know if you know any more information about it uh, than I already mentioned like release date i don't think there is a release date a definite release date but if you do know anything do let me know and let me know your thoughts on that game also i have heard about uh what were it breaking point is it breaking point yeah breaking point the standalone breaking point from hour to an hour three 
which oh, friendly is fucking out. It's yeah. apparently the trailers look good. I don't know what's coming out. I think it's still in Kickstarter. Once again, I may be incorrect. I'm not really. It's just bit snippets of information I've heard about everything I'm going to discuss next. So I'm not really sure, but apparently it's got the really good potential of being good. So that's something I like to bring to the channel if that's the case at some point. So do let me know some details on that if you guys know. Um, sharing is caring and all that stuff. Now I'm like to hopefully eventually get some hands on. Escape from Kharkov, that looks really good. I think that could be some fun, some uh, multiplayer on that. So, definitely looking to get into playing some of that, as well as Player Unknown's Battlegrounds. Now, I've heard mixed things. Now, from reading reviews on Steam, people are like, it's really bad. And cheaters, hackers, all this stuff. But then from the guys who are known on Steam who's got it, say it's good. So, I'm going to trust their instincts um, and their opinions more, because obviously I've played with them. So I'm hoping it is going to be oh good. I'm hoping to get into that at some point soon as well. Don't think I'm just going to get into that just yet. Uh, very soon. Probably by the end of the month I'll be looking into that. But in the minute there's, a, there's quite a few things I need to sort out first. So but that's something to look at. As well as that, um, I don't know. I really don't know. Probably looking at Rust again at some point. All the games are so dated. Um, I am looking to do some more Armour 3. Of course, King of the Hill. Got to love it. Uh, Armour 2 Wasteland. I know a lot of you, you guys Alice love Armour 2. And that's why I came to the channel. So, Armour 2 Wasteland's going to come. Now, big question, DayZ. In terms of DayZ standalone, it's hard to say. Uh, to me, I'm not really interested in it because I, I'd just let you guys down. I, I don't think I'd be any good at it because of the fact that I think... With limited time scale, I have to play the game. I, I, it's going to take me a long time to get into that game to be good as what other people are. Like Danny, for example, who uh, oh no, you can see the channel description below. Um, really, really good at the game. Me, I am miles behind that level. So to be able to play as good as him is going to take me a while. Or anywhere near the same kind of capabilities. And I don't have the time to basically practice it. So that's not looking promising that that's ever going to happen. But it could do. Who knows? And now in terms of Armour 2 DayZ mod, it's half me to say never because never say never. And the fact that I love it so much. If I could potentially find a good server, get a couple of my guys back into it, then that could be a recipe for something quite good. So that's something I may consider. You guys will have to let me know some decent servers anyway. But when the time comes, I'll ask you anyway. And we could take it from there. So that's potentially going to happen as well. But, but getting back to some old stuff we've been playing before. What's been updated a lot. Uh, and some new stuff coming to the channel. It's not just going to focus on anything particular this channel. It is going to focus on anything I enjoy. For me, the main priority is me having fun. You guys liking the videos. Uh, view numbers and subscriber numbers. I really don't care. If I've got 100 subscribers or a million subscribers. Yeah, you'd be saying, well, if you've got a million subscribers, you could do a full-time job. The problem is, when I did YouTube a lot in the past, uh, and even though we're low number of subscribers, I earned a, earn a bit of money from it. But, however, I couldn't stand staying in the house all day. I couldn't do YouTube full time. It thrashed my head. I've literally got to go a break and go outside. I like having a different routine apart from YouTube. So, this is just a hobby and always will be. So, that, that'll never matter about subscriber numbers or view count. It's just games I enjoy. I think I get some good footage. I'm not just going to put footage up for the sake of it. If it's, if it's that decent, I'll put it up for you guys. And hopefully you'll enjoy it. And we'll take it from there. Um, I think that is pretty much everything. So, yeah. The last thing to say is basically, if you guys do know, once again, of any mods of any game, any new games that are coming out or are out, and you want to see them, or just worth checking out, do let me know. Uh, there will be strategy games coming to this channel as well. It's going to be a, mix, a mixed bag. So, there will be... All kinds of strategy games coming back, new strategy games, uh, World of Tanks, stuff now and again, and all this kind of stuff. It's going to be a mixed bag for now. It's not just going to be your daisy and stuff. Um, the channel art of things is staying all as it is for now. We're going to see how this goes probably between now and Christmas. That's my forecast of me doing things. Um, and basically see how things pan out, and we'll make some steps then. If we need to do some changes in terms of channel art, in terms of getting rid of my OSC badges and stuff, and me. Crap like that, but we'll... Uh, Take it is, keep as it is till we get back into things what people are familiar with. There was one more thing I was going to say and I can't remember what it is. That's the problem when you do these videos, these update videos. There's just there's so much to explain and because I'm not really used to doing these anymore, I can't really remember what I'm having to tell you. Oh, and just remember one final thing. Um, 
OC Clan stories, the Am2 Daisy videos. Uh, I am going to be making another one. Well, there's a lot I'm going to make. I know I've been promising the past, which I'm not into making false promises anymore, so I'm not going to promise anything. But however, I am going to make them uh, because I've been watching videos recently, really enjoying the content myself. So I feel you guys should see them. Now, I know a lot of you guys won't have seen the old videos, or you might not remember them, or not really been tuned in what the story was behind what was happening. So what my plan is, is to basically do that. Put up the videos. Uh, now the first next one is going to be on Epoch. Um, so it's going to be the first part as of probably four or five. Now I do have 80 to 90 parts in the Epoch series. So what I'm going to basically do is cut the videos down to action scenes. So I'm telling you guys a story but showing you some of the fights what we have as individually and as a group. Uh, cutting out a lot of the bits like your looting, your farm and your trade, all that kind of stuff which it was part of the content at the time for that video, but for what I wanted to do, it can be cut out so we can put more of that kind of stuff in the videos. Make it better for you guys. So, I'm going to start with that. What I'm probably going to do, there's a potential for tons of those videos. Probably five or six videos, parts, just for the Epoch series. That's not including any of the Overpoch series on any map. That's just one Epoch on Cherno. So... There's potential for that to be quite a lot, so I'm going to be working on that. I'm hoping, if I can, to get one of those videos up this week at some point. I'll start working on that tomorrow, because I'm looking forward to doing it. And we'll take it from there. So, that's pretty much everything, guys. I'm going to leave it there. There's probably still loads of stuff I forgot, but if you do have any questions at all, don't hesitate to ask me in the comments below. Let me know all the information I've asked for, if you can, in terms of any new games, mods, or that kind of stuff, what's coming out. Real be appreciated. I'll keep it chill with you guys as much as I can. I'm probably going to set up a Steam group soon so I can keep you guys posted with our two's videos. And there's also the channel's Facebook page I'll start getting more active with as well for you. Okay, so once again, thanks a lot for watching. Let me know all the details you can below, and I'll see you on the next one.